Hi there. <clears throat> I'm going to take you through some of the features of editing polygons, um, and in particular reference to master map. Um, as you can see, I've got a selection of um, some of the master map data up here on the screen. Um, and master map is actually quite useful because it has quite a lot of information um, beh behind each one of these polygons that we can use um, for manipulating the polygons. But ma master map can also be the the basis for creating your own features inside your own projects. So we're just going to have a quick look at some of the basic editing tools that are available to you um, when it comes to manipulating polygons. Um, and these, these tools also apply to polygons that you would have created yourself as well as to any other data that you might want to go and manipulate and edit. Um, just a couple of things really. Um, currently we're not in an editing session so we've just loaded up this this piece of master map data here and you can see over here um, on the left in the layers selection and currently all we can really do is, is use the select feature tool um, to select any one of these polygons uh, <clears throat> when we select we're also selecting in the attribute table at the same time and so you'll notice down here I've got one um, feature selected or one polygon selected I can use this button here to um, filter out that polygon um, and I can also use this button to show all the records again um, this feature will stay selected until I deselect it and I can do that in one of two ways I can deselect it here um, which is the clear selection tool from within the table so we can see there's nothing now showing um, because I've got no records selected, but if I go back I can display all records. But that, that tool will also deselect it here as well. Um, so again, going back to select, uh, I can select like that, um, and then the clear selected features tool does exactly the same thing but on, in the map view. Um, also using the um, select feature by square gives me the opportunity to draw boxes so I can select multiple features at the same time which could be useful in certain situations where you want to select out a whole group of features all in one go so for example I can do that and that will select all of those features as they are which can be quite useful um, so I'm going to just select out an area roughly um, and, and sometimes you may want to, to separate these out from the rest of the data um, and create your own shape or, or feature class based on a smaller selection so if we need to do that the easiest way to do it is to make the selection and then we would simply export this now um, so I right clicked on the layer I'm going down to data and I'm now going to export data and I'm going to export this layer or this, this selection here so it's, it's, it's exporting selected features. I'm going to export it back into the um, geo database I'm already working in, but of course rename it something different. And simply click Save and click OK. And it should now export the data. And it will always ask me if I'd like to add the exported data my layer to my layer. So I can say yes. Um, and you can see it's changed colour slightly there, um, which means I could actually now remove the original master map data um, because I'm just focusing on a much smaller area. Um, so there's the sort of subset of data that I've now extracted from that master map, and I can do anything I like with this. Um, but currently, as I'm not in an editing session, all I can actually do is select the polygons. And if I want to select multiple polygons, I can either do the drag like that, or I can also do the um, hold shift down and click. Um, and select multiple polygons uh, and that also works when I'm trying to select within the table so um, you'll get the same the same way of doing things inside the table I'm just going to make the table a bit smaller so that you can see what's happening but as I start to select here I'm holding down shift um, and that's selected a whole load of polygons all at once or I can also hold control um, and then select and you can see the polygons um, being selected on the map itself at the same time there 
So either way, whether you select them actually on the map or inside the table, they will still be selected in both locations at the same time. So you'll notice that, that we're, as we're not in an editing session, um, there's, there's nothing much I can really do apart from make selections. Um, so to start actually editing the polygons themselves, I need to go into an editing session. Um, and we've got the editor toolbar already up here um, on the top of our our uh, menu. Um, if it's not there, you would need to go and, and right click on any grey area up here and then choose it. It can be switched on or off. I just turned it off, so I'm just going to put it back on. And then you've got the editor toolbar. Um, and then you need to go in and start editing. I mean, this is really simple at this stage because we've only got one layer here. So, so we can only edit that one layer. It starts to become slightly more complicated if you've got multiple layers down here. And then you have to make sure you're actually editing the correct layer. Um, this is not automatic. Normally, um, depending on how your system's set up, the create features will automatically appear um, when you go into the editor. Um, and mine wasn't set to to appear automatically. Um, but it, it's kind of there now. So anyway. And of course, I could add to this. So I could draw new polygons if I wanted to into this attribute or sorry into this this feature class um, so I could just create a new feature so I can select this one and there we go I've got the polygon feature and I could just draw a new one so I'm just just as an example so I've just created a new polygon there and then I double click to finish that polygon and now that's added a new polygon to this particular feature class and also obviously created a new row um, in the attribute table, so we just have a quick look at that. Um, I'm going to see, as we can see, it's by default that one is selected when we um, um, when we create it, and you'll see that it's got nothing. It's empty at the moment because we've not obviously added any attributes to it. So once you're editing, you obviously have the ability to create new shapes or new polygons, but you also have the ability to um, do other things with them, the existing ones. Um, and up here we've got this tool, this edit tool, um, and we can, if we select that and then go to any polygon at all, it will select it. Um, but it also gives us the opportunity to move it, which is sometimes useful, but not always. And if we make a mistake, we can undo and that will put it back. Um, but if we actually double click on the edge of the polygon itself, um, we will bring up these little tiny vertices, little squares. And we also get this extra edit vertices menu up here. So we can now zoom in. And we can start to actually manipulate the shape. So I need to go back to the edit tool, um, and now I can grab every, any one of these uh, and redraw the shape if I wished. Which obviously you can imagine can be quite time-consuming, but but sometimes is useful. Um, you've also got the option to remove the vertices. So I can now go along and I can select, and I can say I don't want that one. Um, I don't want that one. So you can actually also simplify shapes by doing this. So you can simply just click click on them. And you can see it's, it's every time I do that, it's deleting one of those little dots, the vertices. Or I've got the option to add a vertices as well. So if so I wanted to change the shape just there, I can add a new one. And of course, that gives me the option to move it up or down or have we, however I like. Um, we can do other things as well as just edit the existing polygons. Um, so I'm just going to show you a few of the other things that we can also do. Um, one thing that can often be useful is um, the ability to be able to merge polygons together. Um, and, and sometimes this is useful if you just want to simplify down um, an area or, or something that you're working on. Um, you can only merge polygons if you've got more than one selected. Um, so I'm just going to show you how we do that. So again, I need to go back to the Select Features tool. Um, and I'm going to select this one. I'm going to shift click and select the one next to it. I'm going to shift click and select the one next to that. And I want to merge those all <coughs> into one polygon. Um, and the easiest way to do that is once you've selected the multiple polygons, you would simply go up to the editor here and you've got this merge button. Um, this will, as it says, merge two or more polygons together into one. So um, this box is now saying which one of the attributes from which one of these tables um, which one of these features, sorry, would you like to keep? Um, I'm just going to select the top one, it doesn't matter, but there may be a reason why I might not want to do that. Um, so there we go. We've now This is now just one, one polygon. 
rather than two. Um, we've also got some other tools up here. So we had the edit vertices, which we we're already working on. And then we've got this cut polygon feature, which again can be quite useful. Um, so again, you might want to divide a polygon in a different way. Um, we can only do this if we've actually got the polygon not to divide selected. So I'm going to select it first. Going back to the um, select feature tool, um, select the polygon, and now I can use the divide tool. So I could just draw a line across there. So there we go, I've divided that polygon into, into another um, two and that will, will have created a new attribute inside the table as well. Um, and now of course I can, I can edit that particular can see it's kind of come separate away from there so I've, I've kind of created another polygon so there it is <clears throat> so you've got quite a lot of flexibility in terms of editing and, and manipulating and, and managing um, and, and reshaping polygons um, and merging them together as well which can be as I said quite useful um, in various situations. And once you've finished doing any of your edits um, you need to um, stop editing. Um, it's probably quite a good idea to save your edits as you go as well. Um, one thing, once you, I mean if you don't save edits and you just say stop editing, it, will, it should always ask you if you'd like to save your edits um, and it's probably always generally good practice to say yes but of course once you have you can't go back and change that. Um, that's obviously now committed to the um, to this selected fields now so that has changed it forever